Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you four of the highest paying work from home jobs that you can get as a beginner who's never had a work from home job before. And one of them is at a company called HubSpot. HubSpot is a marketing, sales, customer service, and CRM software company. And they will have these business development representative positions, which are basically sales positions all around the world. This is just the USA version, but they have these all around the world in different countries and they don't typically require you to have a degree or any past experience to apply for this. And it can pay on average around $223 per day. So what you will do for a business development representative or a sales development representative, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, you'll work closely and collaboratively with account executives, also known as sales reps, to develop and implement appropriate prospecting strategies conduct high volume prospecting 60 to 100 activities per day to qualify leads through calls emails and social media schedule marketing assessments and discovery meetings for an account executive to further assess a prospect's business and potential for a partnership with hubspot conduct needs qualification calls with specific prospects as assigned help small and mid-sized companies realize the potential of digital marketing set yourself up for a successful career by learning the necessary fundamentals to be a great salesperson leader and executive you also get a mini MBA. We're looking for people who have previous successful sales experience or a strong desire to begin a sales career. As you can see, you do not need experience. Previous sales experience in which you demonstrate the ability to meet or exceed sales quotas is a plus, but not required. A track record of high achievement, excellent written and verbal communication skills, the ability and desire to work in a fast paced, change, challenging environment with peers who challenge you to be better, the desire to meet and exceed measurable performance goals, naturally curious and passionate, technical aptitude to master sales tools, keenly developed competitive nature, a one speed energy with a highly self driven sense of motivation, and the ability to deal with and thrive on objections and rejection on a daily basis. So, you can fill out the form at the bottom to apply. And as far as what it's like to work at HubSpot, they have 2.2 thousand reviews here and seem to be fairly well liked with a 4.6 out of 5 star overall rating. As far as benefits, you can check there on Glassdoor as well. They 4.6 out of 5 star rating for their benefits. You can see they list them here. You have things like a five year sabbatical, including $1,000 towards your time off, unlimited vacation, families at HubSpot resources, programming and perks, modern health benefits, including coaching and therapy, 5,000 tuition reimbursement annually and free books program. So really nice benefits here. And you can see their ratings for each individual thing and see what is employer verified. So you can see what HubSpot has verified as something that you can get as a benefit here. And as far as salaries go, you can look for a sales development rep or a business development rep. You can see a business development rep typically pays right around $57,000, $58,000 per year. Next you have virtual assistant positions. So this can mean all sorts of things. A virtual assistant basically is someone who helps an executive or an entrepreneur uh, schedule things, deal with email, maybe do some research for them. Maybe there's some data entry involved. Um, usually just kind of managing schedules and travel and things like that. Maybe taking calls, taking emails from people and just kind of saving an executive or an entrepreneur time. Now you can find these at profitfactory.com slash jobs, which is a company that matches entrepreneurs with assistants. So you won't be working for Profit Factory, you'll be working for one of these small businesses if you apply and get the job. So they are just the company that does the listings and does the matching and handles everything about the process of finding the right virtual assistant. So you can look at their listings here. Some of these are full-time, most of them start as part-time, but you see that usually the ideal candidate, they'll tell you skills and qualities that the business you might be applying for is looking for experience with the following is a plus position details you'll usually see how much they pay it's usually twenty to thirty dollars per hour and sometimes they'll even include benefits as well but experience with the following usually they'll have certain tools they want you to be good with most of the ones that i see on here have to do with uh, Microsoft Office and Google Suite. So if this one, technical skills, keep calendar management software, Zoom, G Suite, project management tools. Some of them, they just want you to know how to use a few tools. You don't even need actual job experience. This one, $24 an hour, doesn't require much. Uh, 15, 20 hours for this one. They have core values, technical skills. 
you must know or come ready, ready to learn. So there you go. This one, ready to learn or skills you must know. Salesforce or similar CRM, Outlook, Ease. And then this is a W-2 position, $20 an hour, US-based only. They also tell you if you have to be in the US sometimes. Uh, there's another one here. A successful candidate must possess the following experience and qualities. So this one might require a little bit more from you. Or they might just require certain skills like you're you're good with grammar, you're good at writing, you're good at time management. Those types of things are not job experience. Those are just skills. Experience with the following is a plus, not required. Help scout entreport close.io. So you'll notice that a lot of these do not require much of anything to apply. Uh, $23 an hour, but usually you can be trained for any one of these. And they just say that maybe it would be preferred if you know how to cert, use maybe Outlook for email or Gmail or something. And those types of things are about all they usually require of you. Next, you have a company called Empire Flippers. This is a great place to find a work from home job called a content specialist. Every once in a while, they might look for something like this, or you can find a content specialist somewhere else. But at Empire Flippers, they actually didn't require much to apply as a content specialist and they don't for other jobs as well. I've seen sales jobs and others where they don't require experience. They want somebody who's just got a certain type of personality that they think they can train and that has the potential to do a good job. So an empireflippers.com is a website brokerage company that deals with buying and selling sites and they have some pretty good perks and benefits as well. You can see here uh, you get to live and work from anywhere in the world and kind of uh, you even get things like health care no matter where you go so they even encourage you to travel while you work as long as you get your work done um, company meetups twice a year unlimited vacation education and training stipends and employee assistance programs as well now they have a job to look for it's not available right now but it's called a content specialist so i have uh, the details of this job from when they posted it before um, on my website but what you do is you write listing descriptions for new businesses going live on the marketplace outreach to off-site publications and websites with the goal of creating one in-depth industry related blog post per month optimize content with best seo industry practices publishing story and data driven blog content twice a month monitor mentions and backlinks manage and improve the ongoing editorial calendar and interviewing sellers for the podcast Qualifications and affinity for writing, a can-do attitude, a self-starter, and an immaculate attention to detail. Preferred qualifications, so obviously being, they have a lot of preferred qualifications, but not required, meaning they'll probably train you for these things if you haven't done them before. A deep understanding of crafting written story-driven content marketing pieces, strong emphasis on editing skills, uh, basic to intermediate social media knowledge, as well as SEO knowledge, email marketing automation knowledge, and graphic design skills, and maybe even a journalism background would be great. And usually they pay around $200 per hour according to estimates for this job at Glassdoor. And you can also look at some reviews here. So 21 reviews here for Empire Flippers. And they have a really good rating of 4.9 out of 5 stars by their employees. Not a lot of information about benefits and salaries yet, but um, seems to be well liked by the employees that have given ratings so far. Last but not least, you have a company called Calm, which is a software company that produces meditation products. And they have some of the highest paying customer experience specialist positions that I've seen and they don't even necessarily require experience to apply. They don't have any available right now, it seems like, but they do have some really good benefits and I'll also show you the details of the job because I also took notes on this before for like when it becomes available again. But they basically have great salary, equity, 401k and a generous extended learning budget. They have 100% of health, dental, and vision covered give you monthly stipends for your fitness and wellness routines as well. Time and space, like paid time off, uh, you basically get to take what, take that whenever you need it. They have things for uh, parents. They have home office setup, stipends, and uh, culture and connection things as well. So right now, what they have available, they have a lot of like engineering, product management, partnership stuff, uh, sales, lots of sales stuff available right now. But what you would maybe keep an eye on their site for is a customer experience specialist. So what you would do is ensure each user's support experiences on the highest possible quality through providing personalized, efficient, and empathetic replies, confidently answer escalate customer inquiries, be an expert of comms, operating platforms, features, etc. Identify patterns in bug reports and feature requests and escalate them. 
own the tickets and tasks assigned to you, write internal and external knowledge base articles, assist with support agent onboarding training quality assurance, and suggest guidelines and offer new best practice ideas for the support team. Qualifications, you have exceptional written and verbal communication skills, able to turn a negative into a positive, works autonomously and takes responsibility for completing assigned work, volunteers for tasks rather than waiting for them to be assigned, cares about not just making sure the work is done, but that it's done well, willing to work on call one weekend per month. So those are the required qualifications, not anything in there really about experience. Preferred experience supporting a subscription-based service with in-app purchases, one year working with Zendesk on a similar ticketing platform, other helpful tech, JIRA, Confluence, Asana, Stripe, Braintree, and basic SQL queries, A+. And according to compensation from Glassdoor, uh, this typical, that's a typo, it's not a data entry professional, obviously, but 81 to 88,000 per year. And you can play the video at the bottom too, and it will kind of show you when it was available and prove that this was an actual job that they have from time to time that it was on their website. 44 reviews, they have really good ratings as well as a company, 4.4 out of five stars overall. As far as their benefits, they have really good benefits as well with a four out of five star rating out of seven ratings. Salary wise, when you look for customer support, you see 81 to 88,000 a year right there, customer support specialist. So other than that, hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily videos like this one. And also don't forget to click the link in the YouTube video description. That will take you to a page where all this stuff is listed and you can go to um, links to these job pages and their Glassdoor pages and do some more research on your own time. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.